Hey everyone, it's Lucy from kbeautyharbor.com. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not so new to my channel, you may know that my nail videos are the most popular kind of video that I made. I saw that my horror tutorial as of today is at 90,000 views, which blows my mind because my channel is so small and yet for some reason people really enjoy my nail tutorials and I'm happy that they do. Thank you very much for watching them. I do have a playlist for nail stuff that you can check out if you're into nail specific content. Today I thought I'd do a comparison video of the very popular Ohora gel, na gel nails to a less popular brand of gel nails called Nailog. Here's an example of an Ohora box and here's a Nailog box. Nailog does change the colors of theirs sometimes. I'm not sure what exactly dictates that. I've had some that are more lavender, this one is more pink and red, but the contents are the same. We're going to talk today about quantity, how long they last, price point, sizing, application, everything you want to know. If I forget to cover something you have a question about, please leave me a comment. I try to get back to every single person. Inside the horror box you will find a little black box like this that protects them from UV light. These are semi-cured gel nails, so is Nailog. You get 30 stickers of varying sizes, and I do have a tutorial video, like I mentioned, that you can watch if you want to see exactly how to apply them. Nailog come in this foil envelope inside of their box, and included in there is a little sticker sheet to reseal this envelope if you don't use them all up at once. You get 20 of the Nailog stickers. Now for my nail, one sticker is actually enough to cover two nails, so I cut mine in half and that is enough to cover two fingers. Obviously this sheet has been used. I both wanted to show you what's left of it, but also didn't want to open a new one because once you open a Nailog sheet, it says that you have to use it within one month. I didn't find that information about Ahura. They seem to be okay as long as they're stored properly. What I will say is that with Nailog, my very first design, I used and then saved leftovers for weeks and weeks. I think it was like 12 weeks. And then I used up the other half of them and they worked just fine. So I think that one month is just out of overabundance of caution. So 30 stickers in Ahura, 20 stickers on nail log. Nail log are a lot longer, so it sounds like 30 is a lot more, but if we compare and I'm aligning the bottoms of the nail log against the bottom of the Ahura, you can see that nail log is a lot longer, so 30 strips isn't necessarily that many more strips because each one with Ahura really is only enough to cover one nail, while with nail log you might be able to cover two, depending on your nails. A horror retail for 12 to 17 or 18 dollars, depending on the design you have, and nail log retail for 13 to 16 dollars. I have a similar video comparing a horror to Dashing Diva, and at the time you could only buy a horror on their official website, in which case if you did spend I think 80 dollars worth, you had to pay DHL Express shipping, which was 18 dollars, which was a huge downside. Now, in preparation for this video, I looked on Amazon and it looks like Ahura has an Amazon storefront now, so you can prime those puppies to yourself if you want. Nailog is also available on Amazon and they have their own official website. You get a couple of prep pads, a nail file, and a wood stick with Ahura. You get four prep pads, a nail file, and a wood stick with Nailog. Very comparable quality of the nail files and the sticks and the prep pads, nothing really stands out there other than you get a couple more with nail lock. Both are semi-cured, meaning you are required to have a UV or LED lamp to finish curing them. It's going to be difficult to show on camera, but Ahura is a little bit thicker than nail lock. Both nail uh, brands are domed, meaning the edges that go to the sides of your nail, these edges here, are thinner than the middle of the sticker. But a horror is thicker right here in the middle than nail log, and that's actually not a great thing because when you put on the sticker and then trim off the excess here on the end, that free edge where you have the nail and then the sticker with a horror gets pretty thick, and with nail log it's thinner and more like your real nail. Both of them can stretch. You can stretch them a bit horizontally or you can stretch them a little bit vertically. That makes them a little bit thinner and a little bit longer. So there's some uh, degree of flexibility there as far as making them fit 
to your nails perfectly. Let's talk about the sizing. I couldn't find the exact measurements in millimeters on the brand websites for the strips and it's possible that they're there and I just didn't find them. You're welcome to look and see. But let's just look at the widest strip. So this is the widest nail log strip right here. And then this here is the widest Ahura strip. So if we just, I'm lining them up. Maybe I'll do it on this one. Okay, there. So you can see there, now it's lined up. Nail log is a little bit wider than a horror. Not a ton, but a little bit. I don't use the widest sizes myself, but if this is something that's important to you, if you have really wide nails on the thumb, nail log is going to have more wide sizes. And again, a horror can be stretched horizontally. It's just a little bit extra work. It's not a big deal. So on paper, these both sound pretty much the same, right? Very similar. Similar application, similar price points. The designs are going to be different, of course, so it's just a matter of your taste. But which one is better? Well, that probably depends a bit on your nail, but for me personally, nail log is a lot better, and I'll tell you why. With a Hora, no matter how carefully I apply it, and I'm not a newbie when it comes to nail strips. I've been using some kind of nail strip at home for about seven years now and I do it on a pretty regular basis. I apply them carefully and I spend my time because I don't mind so much spending extra time applying nail strips if they last me for two weeks, which is always my goal. I want them to last two weeks and not just physically stay on my hands for two weeks, but I want them to be perfect. Not snagging, not chipping, not peeling, not falling off, nothing like that. They need to look really good for the whole two weeks. With a Hora, no matter how much I try, I always get at some point within the first week or so, or sometimes second week, snagging at the cuticle. And I think that's just because they're so thick. They can't lay completely flat against my nails. So right in this area, right where the, the nail meets the cuticle, at some point I start to get hair catching there. And I don't like that. It really drives me nuts. It's very, very annoying. Because if hair can get under there, so can water, so can oil, and it can potentially disrupt the whole wear cycle of your nail where they're not lasting the whole two weeks. And I'm not the only one. I see a lot of feedback online about a horror snagging at the cuticle tip. Nail log doesn't snag at all. For two weeks, they're absolutely perfect. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I do have affiliate links with nail log, but that's because I really like them. So for two weeks, nail log on me looks perfect. The only reason I usually take them off is because my nails get too grown out or maybe I'm just tired of the design. And by now I've used nail log many, many times. I've had many, many sets, so I know that they work. And I have a lot of Ahura sets as well. And I bought those with my own hard, <laughs> hard earned money and I spent enough to get that free shipping. So I have a lot of Ahura. I have seen even online some tips on using acetone when you're applying Ahura dipping a little brush into acetone and then brushing it on your cuticle here to dissolve some of the horror wrap, to make it a little bit thinner, to make it adhere really well there. And to me, that is just too much work. I already spent a lot of time applying nails. I do some extra steps. I've gotten criticism online for that as well. I've had people say, well, this is not a true review because you're doing all this extra stuff, which the extra stuff I do is I prep the nail well, I push down the cuticle, I, I degrease it, and then after I apply the nail strips, I put a gel top coat on top of them to seal in the free edge and to make them last really well. If you look at my videos, they don't usually say review, it usually says tutorial because I'm showing how I do it, but yeah, some people think that I need to just apply them straight out of the box and see how they work, which is fair. I mean, if you want to do it that way, that is fine. In case you can't tell yet, the set I'm actually wearing today are nail log because they're my favorite. There are some other nail strips that I enjoy, like Dashing Diva Gloss, for example, the ones that don't need to be cured at all. But out of the semi-cured ones, then let me think, I've tried Ahura, Dashing Diva Glaze, that does need to be cured, um, Nail Log, and Danny and Tony, and there may have been, oh, Innisfree also makes some. So I've tried those, and out of those semi-cured ones, nail log are my favorite. They last the best, they look the best, they feel really good, and Ahura has some wonderful designs, but so does nail log. 
so does Dashi Diva as well. So I encourage you to try maybe one of each and see which one works best for you. If you need some help with applying them or removing them, and the removal for all of these is pretty much identical. If you need help with any of that, check out my nails playlist. I have videos for all of that there. Let me know what I didn't cover in this video. I try to kind of side by side compare in the categories that I could think of, but if you have some questions, please let me know and I'll try I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope it was educational or fun. You can find me on Instagram at kbeautyhobbit, my blog kbeautyhobbit.com, and in my private Facebook group, Korean Beauty Fanatics. I will see you in my next video. Until then, please remember to always listen to your skin. Thank you so much. Bye.